everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Keisha. I blog over at the Glamorous French Housewife blog. In case you're new here, you can find that link below. It's also up top, just in case you're interested in checking it out. So today I am back with my March favorites. These are the products I grabbed the most in March. I have quite a few of them. So let's get started so this video isn't too long. So first, skincare wise, I, you know, my skincare routine is pretty much the same um, as it's been for a long time. But one thing I will keep showing in these videos is the Mario Biscu Facial Spray with Aloe Herbs and Rose Water. This is amazing. It's so good for your skin. Um, I love it. I used it as a setting spray. I've also used it um, just, you know, when I got out of the bath, before I went to bed. It's perfect if you want to store one of these in your refrigerator and you're like coming home from a workout and you want to spray just to kind of cool off. It feels amazing if you have one in the fridge. I have two. This one sits up on my bathroom sink and I have the one in the refrigerator. This is for all skin types and it's so nice. Um, use it to set makeup, soothe your skin in dehydrating conditions, or give your skin a quick boost anytime, anywhere. It smells amazing. It really makes my skin, you know, absorb my moisturizer so much better. I just love it. I can't say enough good things about it, and um, it's not even very expensive. I think this was like five or six dollars. So I'll make sure to link to the website below in case you're interested in getting some because it's amazing. Makeup. So for foundations, you know my my oldie but goodie is the Revlon Color Stay. Now I used up all of this in March, and I just recently bought a new one. Um, I posted that haul, and I'll. Put it up here in case you're interested in seeing it but i love this foundation it's amazing i use the one for um dry skin so it's not too drying i do have dry skin myself so i don't like the one that you know dries me out even more but the one um for dry skin um isn't as drying obviously and it still holds up well it's one of the best best drugstore foundations that you can get another one that I've also been loving is the Revlon H Divine firming and lifting makeup now this is a lighter coverage compared to the color stay but I wear the same color in both and it's buff well this one's bare buff number 10 and 150 buff in the color stay but this is a lighter foundation but it it's just um, more dewy and more fresh. I really love it. Um, I've been using it quite a bit in March. Um, another foundation that I've also been using, because I changed foundations out quite a bit, is the Tarte Amazonian Color to Clay Liquid Foundation. Now, my mom bought this for me. It's one of like an early birthday present. She's absolutely loving it. It's got this little wire mesh inside and your brush you know, you push down with your brush and it applies, you know, your foundation right to your brush. And it's a really nice foundation. Um, it come, it came, it come, it came with the Tarte Light CC Primer. And this is more to me like a foundation within itself. So it's got the different colors to kind of even out your skin tone and reduce redness. And you know, there's days when I'm home when I feel like just this blended into my skin is plenty. I love that it's in a stick form. And I'll show you another foundation that I've been using too in a stick form in just a minute. But when you pair this with the foundation, it gives you really full coverage. I mean, really full coverage. Um, and again, this is plenty on days I just want to stay home and not put on a lot of makeup. But I've really been enjoying this. My mom loves this, and um, she thinks that, you know, it looks great on her skin. I like the way I the way it looks on my skin, except I just have to be a little careful and not powder afterwards because it will definitely be too heavy for me and look too drying. Now, another quick foundation that I love, um, that I've loved for a long time, and I put up a review on this, is the Maybelline Fit Me Shine Free Foundation. This is a wonderful, quick foundation that, you know, I've used a lot of. But I keep this in my bag, and I can use it as, like, a touch-up concealer when I need to, a touch-up foundation when I need to. It's wonderful, and um, I've grabbed for this quite a bit over, you know, the days in March. I love that. Um, another 
like beauty balm cream that I have been reaching for is the Avon Ideal Flawless BB Cream. This is good stuff, you guys. My sister-in-law sells Avon. I'll link her blog below. But um, this has an SPF of 15, and I adore this. Can you hear the wind? I have that window open behind me. I'm surprised there's not a cat in it. Um, but I adore this BB cream. It's one of the best. It's light coverage. Gives you plenty, though, to feel comfortable going maybe to the store or, you know, maybe going to talk to a neighbor or doing something quick in the morning, you know, at school for your kids. This is a great one. You can apply this with your fingers in no time. It blends like a dream. It's not heavy. It doesn't sink into your fine lines. Um, and I do love that it has a little bit of sunscreen in it because we all need our sunscreen um, to keep our skin healthy and safe. Um, and this is a good one. So I love this. When I run out of it, I'm definitely reordering. But, you know, this little tube is lasting me for quite a while. And I don't wear it every day, but I just really like it. Um, another thing I've been trying, and the verdict is still out on this one, is the Revlon Age Defying Wrinkle Remedy Filler. So I have a wrinkle right through here that I cannot stand. I've been using this on it, and it is less noticeable, but it's just like a filler. It's not going to take the wrinkle away or um, really reduce the appearance of it because it's just a filler. It's just going to fill that little wrinkle in, and then you put your makeup on top, and it does look better. I don't know. Um, I really want products, which I do use in my skincare routine, that are going to target those fine lines and wrinkles, not just fill them in. But um, since I use those other products, I think this is okay to use, um, like on a daily basis to fill in that wrinkle. But this will not like help reduce the wrinkles. It will just help hide them. So I have been using that. Um, what are we going to move on to next? Let's move on to blushes and bronzers. The Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer is one that I really like. Uh, it doesn't look muddy on my skin. It's very good for pale skin like my, mine because I'm not tanned up. I never really tan up a whole lot in the summer anyway. A little bit, but not much. Um, but this is a great, great bronzer. It's part of their, like, cocoa. Mm, it smells like cocoa. It's part of like their cocoa collection and um, I do have the Too Faced chocolate bar palette and I'll be showing that in just a minute. But this is part of that and I love this bronzer. Super nice bronzer. And, you know, I do like powder bronzers, but I really like cream bronzers. And a lot here lately I've been going for this um, CoverGirl True Magic Sun Kiss bronzer. Now this is a cream bronzer. It does look kind of messed up for my brush because I just like put my stippling brush in but I just love being able to blend it straight into my skin and it works really nice without being so overpowering and um, if you layer the like the the cream blush with the chocolate soleil if you layer the two then it's really gonna last all day long I love this and I love this. I've been pairing them up a lot together. Love both. And here's an oldie but goodie. Um, same with the blushes. I got a couple powders and one cream that I've been reaching for a lot. With the cream, I've been using the Maybelline Master Glaze in number 10, which is just pinch pink. This is great. I think it's another product perfect for your purse because you're not going to really worry about breaking it. The lid really does securely stay on so it's not going to fall off easily and you know collect garbage and lint and whatever's in the bottom of your purse. Um, but this works good just to give like a very quick flush look to your cheeks. But here lately I have been Reloving the Milani blushes. So this one in Luminesso um, I've used for a very long time. I still haven't hit the pan on it. It's one of those beautiful colors that look basically good on any skin tone. And I've also been using this one in Dose Pink number one. These are such good quality blushes. I mean, they really are. Look at that. Beautiful. And I love them. 
I've been using them. Um, I just kind of pulled them out. I have a lot of makeup and sometimes I just go into some of my older makeup and revisit things that I once loved to see if I still love them, how they are held up through time, and these are really good. Um, and again, if you pair the cream blush with the powder blush, it's going to last a lot longer. For my eyes, there's a lot of products to talk about. So first, you know, the um, Too Faced Shadow Insurance, another great, great, great um, eyeshadow primer. Love it. Everybody's talked about it. I'm not going to get into it a lot, but that's one of my favorites. And I use that some in March, but you know, for me, I've been going back to the Maybelline color tattoos and these are amazing. This one is in Too Cool. It's a white color, as you can see. This one is in Barely Branded. It's one I use a lot. I also love this one in Bad to the Bronze. You'll be able to see. I mean, I'm almost at the bottom of that one. Um, and this one in, what is it? Inked Pink is another one that I've been grabbing a lot. These are great on their own. They're great as bases. I've talked about these forever. I just got a new one, which is, I think, newly nude or nearly nude or something like that. And it's just another nude color. Um, they just are amazing. I can't say enough good things about them. They're great alone. They're great as bases. I've been using them like crazy, and I will probably continue using them. And if you see some stuff that was in last month's favorites, it's in this month's, I'm sorry, but favorites are favorites. And sometimes I use them quite a bit. I have a feeling I'm going to be using these for a very long time to come. I just love them. Shadow-wise, before... You know, I've been mainly using just two palettes. However, besides the two palettes I'm getting ready to show you, I have also been absolutely loving, and I've shown these a lot, the Maybelline Eye Studio quads. I guess you'd call them quads, right? I don't know. This one is green with Envy. I've used it a ton. These are so blendable, so creamy, and my best friend today, well, yesterday, because I'm filming this a day early, yesterday let me know that she found these at her local Big Lots for $2. This one is in Pink Persuasion, another one of my favorites, and um, I just bought a new one of these, too. I'm not sure what the name is. I think it's another nude. This one is in Mad for Mauve, and green is beautiful. And this one is in um, Violets. Oh, I love that. Oh, such pretty colors. And this one is in Smoky Night. These are a little more sparkly in this one. But they're still all beautiful colors. They blend together so easy. And if you can find them at your local Big Dots for $2, it's really a heck of a deal. Definitely go check them out if you're interested in stocking up on those because they're so nice. So for the palettes I've been using, now one I've shown you guys many, many times since I've gotten it, and that is the Lorac Pro. This is one of those palettes that I think almost every single girl needs, woman, girl. I think it's perfect. You can see it's super thin. It's perfect for travel. Mine's dirty, sorry, but... I use it a lot. And you can see, let me turn it around. It does have a mirror, but you can see that I've hit the pan on the light bronze. Um, that's my favorite color along with the champagne color. Um, but I have used this a ton. There's so many beautiful looks you can make with this palette. You got um, matte and you got shimmer. Basically, you got the same color basically with shimmer as you do with mattes. These are amazing and this is one of the best palettes I've ever owned. And I love that it's got that matte black at the end down here because I use that a lot. Love it. I'm sure that'd probably be the next one I hit the pan on. This is one of my absolute favorites. I mean, it's amazing. And then for the end of March, and I'm sure this will probably be in my April's favorites. So I'll just go ahead and tell you. It's the Too Faced Chocolate Bar. I showed this in my birthday haul, which I will definitely link right here. And oh my gosh, look at those colors. They are amazing. I love them. You have a mix of mattes again and um, a little more satiny, a little more sparkle, but not too bad. 
Look at that gold. That's amazing, you guys. I love it. And I will be doing tons of looks with these. If you um, have a YouTube channel and you have looks with this palette, please let me know. I'd love to see them. And look, I haven't even taken my plastic piece off the mirror. But this is just a wonderful palette. Again, it does go with that bronzer, the chocolate Soleil. They all smell like cocoa and amazing products. If you can get that chocolate bar, I think if you love neutrals, you will fall in love with it as much as I have. Um, mascara wise, so you know, I've, I go through a lot of different mascaras. I just did that haul where I bought two other ones and this is the one that I was actually looking for. I think it's been discontinued because I cannot find it anywhere. But this is the L'Oreal Voluminous False Fiber Lashes in the Black Liqueur. I love this mascara. I love the brush. Mine is all dried out and this is, I'm done with this mascara, but I haven't even dipped this one in other tubes because I love it. And but I finished this up this month and I love it. I'm gonna miss it if it's been discontinued but the brush on it is amazing. But it kind of reminds me of the Tarte Light Camera and Lashes, which is another mascara I've been using because I have fallen in love again with just the very plain wands because it really allows you to get right next to the base and it's not a huge brush um, that will make a big mess all over your lids or under your eyes. So. This is another mascara that I have been using and loving. Now, in that haul, I bought the Rocket, which I've had many of, so it's another one I've been using and loving a little bit in March, but really not. Um, it'd be more like an April Fever, I'm sure, but this is another mascara I've been in love with. Um, again, another one, the Smashbox Full Exposure, has this massive brush on it, but it is an amazing mascara. I'm just piling it on today. That really, really works well. So it's just another one that I love. I have a full tube upstairs. I forgot it, but this was in my little makeup bag that I use, you know, if I'm on the road or I'm busy and you just to uh, plump up my lashes a little bit. Liners, I haven't been going for a lot of liners in March. Instead, I have been using like the darker colors in palettes as liners. I've also used, um, this black quite a bit as a liner um, but if I have grabbed the liner I have been using the infallible L'Oreal black buster liquid eyeliner this one is like a marker it's very simple to use and I love it um, but I still don't use that every day I just don't see the need to wear a ton of liner when I'm home alone a lot but I do um, wear it just not as much on my lips, um, I have really just been loving the Tarte Lip Surgeons. Um, these come in like pencils and they are so, so easy to use. Um, they have that peppermint shade or smell. They go on. Mm, I love these. They feel amazing on. And these aren't the only ones that I use. I also love like the Sally Hansen ones. The um, CoverGirl are really nice. And these are pretty much the same way. And they they just go on so easy. They fit real nice in a bag. Even this um, Tarte True Love Lip Surgeon Lip Gloss is another lip gloss I've been loving. Look at that color. It's super bright. Feels amazing on, and I've just been loving the ease with the pencils, or whatever you want to call them. I call them like the big fat pencils. So I love these. I've been using those a lot in March. I have a bunch of them too. Um, concealer. I didn't talk about the Magic Lumi. I've used this for a long time. I really like it. It just kind of highlights and conceals and covers up those dark areas under my eyes pretty well. So loving that. Okay, so let's move on to nails. Yeah, let's do it. Now, I don't do the best with my nails. I'm just stuck at it. I've had people do my nails for such a long time that, you know, when I'm left to do them on my own, it's not always such a pretty sight. And when you're swatching makeup and 
um, you know, putting on makeup, it gets under your nails. I always look like I have messy nails, but I promise I try to keep up with them the best I can. I've been loving, again, the Sally Hansen Instant Cuticle Remover. It works great, not just on your fingernails, but on your toenails, too. And I love it. It really does kind of, you know, get away all of that dead cuticle and it works really well I've also been using the Revlon nail buffer this is the the crazy shine and the buffer in one so all you do is like buff your nails like so and this is great for those days when I don't have anything on my nails which is quite often because for whatever reason polish seems to chip on me so, I guess it's all like the work I do around the house, which is hard on our nails. I'm sure many of you can relate. And then you just take the shiny side and make your nails really shiny. Now, I use this um, here and there, but I grabbed it a lot in March because I just was having trouble getting polish to stay on my nails. And this works pretty well. So, I've been loving that. And then... You know, I do paint my nails, but it just doesn't last very long. However, the colors that I did pick out to use in March were four, actually. Um, and I don't think I did swatches of these on my blog. Not a Cloud in Sight by L'Oreal is one of those beautiful colors that I love. And this one, the Smell, Smell the Roses in number 330 is another one that I really like a lot. It's not too flashy but really pretty. So L'Oreal has stepped up their game with their polishes. They do hold up maybe two days on my nails, but not long. Normally, I just go for my beloved Essie polishes, and I have a massive amount of these. I did pick out two bright colors to wear in March, which I'm sure I'll be wearing them again. This one is Secret Story. So pretty, look at that. And this one is in Laps of Luxury. And it's just another bright, pretty spring color. So, been loving these and um, been using them. But still, I had to change them quite a bit because they just chip. And I hate when they chip. Um, what's next? We can go towards deodorant. I went through another one of the vanilla um, coconut healthy deodorants. These are, deodorants are amazing. I think next time I'm going to try the lavender one. Um, but I always go back for the um, vanilla coconut, which is the blue one. And it smells so good. Works great. Very healthy for us. No toxins. And I love it. Um... Makeup remover. I've been using my own. I've shown how to make this in a other video um, that I will link right here. But this is really good. But one of my friends, Danielle, sent me this a long time ago. This is the bomb. Bombs away. Eye makeup breakup. And this has lasted me forever. But it's really, really good for the nights that I'm trying to get off waterproof mascara. And um, I just take like a cotton pad and rub it in and then take off my eye makeup with that so between my own and this one this is what i've been using to get the eye makeup off without like pulling all of my lashes out which you got to be careful of for my hair um i got this in like i don't know if it was an ipsy bag or a birch box but this is um a beauty protector it's um, protect and detangle ligative in conditioner now, this smells so amazing. I really like it, but what I don't like is that it's in a pump because it just doesn't spray. It's so thick. It just does not spray well for me. So I take it out and get it on my hand and then run it through my hair. My hair is usually always a mess. It's just my hair, but this is super nice and feels really good on my hair. Um, and I put it in um, and then either, you know, blow dry it if I'm blow drying it that day or running the flat iron or curling it, I will put this in first and leave it in for just a little bit. Um, shampoo and conditioner. I'm back on the Nexus Youth Renewal Rejuvenating Shampoo and Conditioner. This is one of my favorites. I've shown this in my recent haul that I've already linked, but this is just an amazing shampoo and conditioner. Makes my hair feel amazing. Keeps my color lasting a little bit longer. 
because I have gray hair and have to dye my hair, but I love this. And it's just one of those shampoos that I will probably always go back to. Just remember, it's the one in the purple bottle in case you're interested. The last thing that I'm going to talk to you about today is the Dr. Till's Milk Bath. I've shown this in many other videos, I'm sure, and many times on my vlog. This is the Milk and Honey. It has vitamin A, D, and E. It really works well for my dry skin. Coming out of winter, I'm trying to get my skin looking and feeling better, and this feels really good. Now, towards the end of March when the accident happened, the car accident, I have been using a ton of Epsom salt. But in between those Epsom salt baths, I've been loving this. I can only find it at Walmart. I can't find it at CVS or Walgreens, but, um, and Walmart only had one left last time I checked, but I'm going to buy this in bulk if I can because it's so nice. I wish I could just make it myself because it's amazing. Um, and it really does leave your skin feeling soft and smelling even better. I just love it. And, no, one more thing. I'm sorry. Lotions wise, I got this, I think, in the Target Beauty Box. This is the Jargon's BB Body Cream. And I learned it today. I really thought that it was insane that they're giving us a BB Body Cream. I mean, really? But I love it. And it smells really good. It has just a little bit of color to it, not much, and it really does leave your skin feeling great, looking great, and it has just a little bit of like light reflecting to it, so it does give your skin a little bit of a glow. I love it, and I'm shocked that I like it so much, but I'm probably going to have to go buy it the full size now because I love this so much. So that is is my March fa beauty favors, that is. Um, in a nutshell, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you um, have used any of these products in March and they've been your favorites too, I'd love to hear from you. Or if you've seen something you wanna try, um, be sure you let me know. Just leave them in the comments below. And um, I will be back next month with my April beauty favorites, but even sooner I'll be back with my March like household random kind of favorites um, that I have been loving and using. So thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss more. And I will talk to you guys very soon. Check out my blog, akjaggers.com, for more information and pictures. And I will see you very soon. Bye-bye. <music>